Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a quick digital art video for beginners. What I'm creating here is an emote. So the canvas size is 500 by 500. And then I'm adding an image of a sketch that I did to trace over. I did the sketch on paper. I took a picture of it with the camera and then bring it into the app. I'm using Ibis Paint. I size it to fit the square. And then you can choose to extract the line drawing to kind of bring it out and make it a bit darker. I do this and then I turn down the opacity of the layer to make it easy to draw over and then put a layer above your image layer. So for the sketch layer, I just use a dip pen and it's 6.0 is the width of it. And I do use a sonar pen, so it is able to sense pressure sensitivity. Even without that, the dip pen offers the lines at the end to where they kind of come to a point and look more drawn rather than just like a solid fat line. This is usually the most time consuming part of creating a drawing is creating the initial sketch. After you have that down, everything else goes pretty quickly. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this portion just because it does take a little while. If you like this video, give it a like. It helps my channel out. Comment below. Subscribe. Finishing up the sketch and then what I'm going to do is add a couple more layers to start adding color layers. So you want your sketch to be on top of everything and then I add a main color layer. I forgot to hide my initial image <laughs> for the base of the face and everything and then I have a color layer for the eyes, the cheeks, and the mouth. You do everything in separate layers. It helps be able to hone in on each specific area when you want to do clipping masks. And I use the clipping masks to do the shadow of each layer. Here the paint bucket it didn't quite get it so I had to go in with the regular brush and just color it in right there. I have the initial colors down. So now I'm going to add the clipping mask. So you add a new layer and then hit the little clipping arrow right there. Now I'm adding the background. So just use the paint bucket to make the background, make a clipping layer for that, and then I add a white outline to make it stand out a bit better. So this is a helpful tip when you're making twitchy motes to make them stand out against the dark mode. Put a little white outline around them. And now I'm going to add the other layers to make clipping layers for each color layer and do the shading. I take the airbrush and make a darker version of the yellow and then I apply it in areas that need the shading, which is the bottom of the chin, under the ears, where his cheek is kind of pushed up a little. I forgot his little chin line. There we go. This bottom of his mouth. Sometimes you forget stuff. Going back to shading, switching back to the airbrush and my darker color. Add a little to the ears. And then I just need to add some to the eye and his mouth and the cheeks. So I make another layer, clip it to the layer below it. So when you do this, it will only color on the color that is on the layer beneath it so it won't go outside. That's what clipping masks do. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to add highlights to these but I think they look cute just as is. I have all of these layers, the sketch layer on top, and then I gotta shade the mouth still. There we go. And that is a simple digital art piece. More complicated works have way more layers, but this is a simple version for beginners. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Pikachu!